Do you quickly get anxious or emotional on things you wish you could have handled better? Or ever wonder how your role model handled an extreme situation in a calm and effective manner? This is where emotional intelligence comes into play. Hi, I'm C. Dang and I'm here to spread social awareness because I believe it's a key for positive change. It makes us more compassionate and thoughtful towards others, creating a ripple effect that's good and lasting. Hold up, let me rephrase that first bit. I'm here to spread self and social awareness because let's get real. You can't really learn how to socialize with people until you understand who you are and what makes you tick. EI, emotional intelligence, is a complex, complex topic. topic. I will make more videos and break it down for you, just like my last series on the art of social interactions. Haven't seen that last series? You can check it out by clicking on the link at the top right of your screen. It's right here. <laughs> Why is EI so important? Some may think to overcome frustrations, you must have a high level of IQ to figure your shit out. Or to be a top executive, you must have some sort of advanced technical skill. Well, sure, to an extent. From analyzed data by Daniel Goldman, best-selling author of Emotional Intelligence, he said EI has proved to be twice as important as any other skills for jobs at all levels. This also goes into your personal life. People who have a high degree of EI are happier and feel more fulfilled with their lives in every aspect. If you're feeling down and out instead of being stuck with the hands you were dealt with, you can take steps to enhance your emotional intelligence and make yourself more effective. You can learn to control your emotions and how to handle your environment better. Who wouldn't want that? The idea of EI came in the 1990s to say that in an effective group or organizations, EI was just as important as IQ, if not more. People knew in their guts that this was true, but now in this day and age, it has never been so well expressed into words. The idea has the potential for positive change. Okay, for those who have watched my last series on the art of social interactions, yes, I made a video on EI and someone broke it down for you, but that was just a glimpse, a teaser if you will. You can revisit that video by clicking on the top right of your screen. But for this series, The Art of Emotional Intelligence, we are going to dive deep and go through each component with a list of examples to get a good grasp and understanding of it all. The list of components for EI are 1. Social awareness. This is to learn more about your character, your feelings, your motives, and desires. It's been said the process can be painful, but it leads to greater self-awareness. 2. Self-regulation. The ability to be in control of your emotions and respond to situations and other people. In other words, the key to managing change and stressful situations. 3. Reading the stitch or situation awareness. To know your surroundings, make a prediction of what could happen and then using this information to act. Or to simplify it, look, think, and act. 4. Empathy. Understanding the other person's emotions, needs, and concerns. 5. Social skills. Building networks and managing relationships. The ability to inspire and influence others and sort out any conflict that may arise. We can strengthen these abilities through persistence, practice, and feedback from colleagues, friends, and families. Stay tuned for future videos where we will go through each of these components to explain and give you examples of how you can apply them to your everyday life. That's the end of the video. We all know how EI could help lower our anxieties, but most importantly, let us take control of our situation and handle our emotions better. Please help and share this video to those you know who could use this valuable skill. We are all in it together to push ourselves to live to our full potential. Thank you for watching. I'm C. Dang. I'll catch you next time. Consider subscribing if you like this type of content. There's a button below that says subscribe, or you can click on my picture right here.